Good evening. Imagine if all the cars in the world, all one billion, billion vehicles, were connected to the internet. Every car, every truck, every bus. Just think of the endless possibilities we would have if all these cars were connected to the network of networks that all of us use every day. Now, for one, we could manage professional fleets in a much better and more cost-effective way. We could also allow people who are using public transportation to have internet access while they are on their commutes. We could avoid traffic jams by disseminating traffic information and allowing through vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication for cars to navigate in a collaborative way and take other routes. We could use the internet in our car, we could listen to Pandora radio, we could uh, study while going to school or work while going to work. And we could entertain our children when they get bored on those long car trips. And this is just a fraction of all the applications that we can do if we have internet in our vehicles. And providing this connectivity for all these applications and services is a $75 billion opportunity. Now, you could think that the problem is very easy to solve. Just use the same network we use with our smartphones and tablets and iPads and mobile computers. Just use the cellular network. Well, the problem is that traffic is growing tremendously. And for telecom operators, this is a huge pain. Why? Because we can really, really see the mobile data tsunami is already here. In fact, in the next five years, Mobile data traffic is expected to increase 18 to 20 times. Now, we could add more and more base stations and increase the cellular infrastructure, but this is way, way too expensive. And this is why telecom operators all over the world are now looking for alternatives, particularly to offload traffic from the cellular infrastructure to the much cheaper Wi-Fi networks. In fact, one megabyte of data transmitted over Wi-Fi is 10 times cheaper than one megabyte of data transmitted over the cellular infrastructure. Now, why not use vehicles to expand this Wi-Fi network and at the same time offer connected vehicle solutions? This is where Venium comes in. We are a vehicular networking company and I hold our main product in my hand. It's this little box which has multiple interfaces. It has a cellular interface but also talks with Wi-Fi networks and most importantly with other vehicles using the new standard, the IEEE 802.11p standard. Now, what this means is that vehicles are now able to form a mesh network and cover the whole city. And while offering you internet access for all the things you want to do in your vehicle, it also allows you to take the data from the car and all the onboard sensors to the cloud uh, where it can be used by car manufacturers, insurance companies and all sorts of service providers to offer uh, new solutions for uh, everyday problems. Venium is game changing and just in time. Let me show you what I mean by mesh networking. Suppose you enter this bus and you want to access the internet. Your device just sees a normal Wi-Fi hotspot and you can use it just like at home or in the office. But the bus has this little box and the box is able to connect to all these different networks as the bus uh, continues its journey. So it connects to roadside units that use this same standard or it connects to normal Wi-Fi hotspots or to other vehicles and always uses the cheapest connection to the internet that is available at any point in time and in any location. Now, with our technology and with this new standard, we are able to increase the range of a Wi-Fi access point by 10 times uh, and uh, provide uh, handoffs, that means changing from one connection to the other, uh, in uh, a, a duration of time which is 100 times faster than the usual Wi-Fi that we all use. With this, we are able to greatly expand the Wi-Fi network. Uh, and how do we know that this works? Well, we've been doing a lot of R&D in the last five years at the University of Porto, University of Aveiro, and Instituto de Telecomunicações. Uh, and we have the largest and most advanced vehicular mesh networking testbed in the world operating in Porto right now and increasing uh, week by week. We have 
already our box installed in the dozens of taxi cabs. We now have all the trucks in the harbor of Porto connected using uh, this technology. We're moving towards buses. Uh, and uh, the best thing about these test beds is not just that we are experimenting with our technology every day and learning faster than anybody else in the world, but we are also working directly with our customers, the fleets, and the telecom operators. Now, how do we go from the mesh network to the internet? Well, there are hundreds of thousands of access uh, points available. Just in Forto, it's 40,000. Imagine uh, in British Telecom has 4.5 million access points, Wi-Fi access points already deployed in the UK. And in many cases, they have routers that will have a private channel for you to surf on and a public channel that everybody else can use. And uh, all this capacity is underutilized and can help us solve the crisis that cellular infrastructure is having right now. So to bring this idea to the market, uh, I partnered with my colleague Susanna Sergento right from the start, and uh, we knew we came from the university uh, uh, with substantial scientific international recognition and managerial experience, but we wanted to work with the best in the world uh, in this area. Our partners in the United States are Robin Chase, founder and former CEO of Zipcar, the largest car sharing company in the world, and Roy Russell, the founding CTO, who came up with all the platform that allows people to rent cars by the hour using uh, a simple card. Now, we also have a fantastic engineering team, and if you're wondering who they are, they are the guys with the coolest black t-shirt in the room, and they're sitting right over there. Now, what is our go-to market? Well, our beachhead market are the telecom operators because they're the ones who are feeling the, most of the pain right now. Uh, and in fact, uh, we offer them a cost-effective way of expanding uh, their Wi-Fi network uh, substantially uh, while supporting machine-to-machine -machine, uh, communication for uh, their customers. At the same time, we target fleets uh, who want telematics at an affordable cost in terms of connectivity. Once we have a critical mass of vehicles connected, then we can go to consumers and offer them low-cost internet access in the car and all uh, the benefits of uh, mobile uh, apps that run in vehicles and use the fact not just that the car is connected to the internet, but also that cars are connected to each other. So our revenue will come first from sales of boxes and monthly fees with our telco customers and fleets, later on also with vehicle apps and licenses, and we are developing software de uh, development kits and APIs uh, that uh, mobile app developers can then use to leverage the unique capabilities of our Venium box. I want to announce today, for the first time, that we just signed a pilot trial agreement with uh, Zon. Zon operates the largest Wi-Fi community uh, in Portugal, uh, and uh, in this pilot trial, we'll be connecting our vehicles to the internet using uh, those hotspots. Now, the path forward uh, is long but exciting. Uh, already in the first year, uh, we were able to raise uh, half a million dollars from angel investors in Boston, New York, London, and Lisbon. Uh, we set out uh, to um, participate in the uh, Building Global Innovators program and uh, uh, develop uh, our uh, box uh, to the point uh, where uh, we will soon be able actually to enter uh, the market. So the next step towards the end of the year is actually to have our first sales to telcos and fleets uh, and complete our Series A investment, uh, which will then allow us uh, to uh, uh, start our internationalization. Uh, at some point in 2015, we will break even and uh, conquer the world right after that with a Series uh, B and Series uh, C, uh, which is obviously in the nature of high-risk, high-growth ventures. So we are very, very happy to be here. Thank you so much for listening. Let's connect vehicles and make the next billion-dollar business. Thank you.